Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hi, and welcome to the February 10th version of Basis Loaded. We'll call this the Polar Vortex Basis Loaded. Temperatures having a hard time getting north of 20 degrees here for a daytime high, but doesn't put a damper on our spirits as we dig into the latest NDPSR, starting with butter. This butter number at 134.64 represents a plus six to the CME weekly average of 128.65. So we continue to see positive basis in butter and really good volume. So almost 4.6 million pounds, well north of the three and a half million pound average that I would expect. So good demand at a high level, as long as you can guarantee that the butter is fresh. Product on the CME still can be up to a year old, so we're seeing a steep discount on sales there. And moving on to block. This block number, really nice price, 175 14. That represents a plus five and a half to the CME weekly average of 169.81. And we printed that five and a half over with 13 loads traded at the exchange. So uh, impressive there again. What's interesting is you remember last week, basis was minus 12. This week, five and a half over. So a 17 and a half cent week to week shift in block basis. What is consistent though, is that volume has been a disappointment. You'll see here volume at just below nine and a half million pounds, a big disappointment, three million pounds under the norm. And this is now three weeks in a row that we've had elevated prices in the blocks and disappointing volume. So we have a lot of trouble clearing product once we get north of 170 in the block and in the barrel 147.75 also a plus five and a half same as the block but here in the barrel plus five and a half to the cme two-week average of 142.03 again really good volume here in the barrel so prices in the barrel never really ran with the block and volume has continued to run well above average here this week, we're talking about 4 million more pounds of barrels over blocks. Typically, you would expect the barrel volume to be half a million under. So outsized barrel sales or outsized barrel supply, depending on how you want to look at it, but still getting normalized basis. So impressive here in the, call it 150 neighborhood, for barrels where the CME is still stuck even this week. And probably the highlight of this week's report, way 49.53, just a massive number. That's up two and a quarter over the prior week's NDPSR average, the Jan 23rd average of 47.26. So we jumped two and a quarter from prior week's NDPSR on a huge volume, 5.4 million pounds. So we're seeing loads trade outside of contract at a big premium to prior week's NDPSR. Demand still continues to be robust in way. And then lastly, non-fat, 114.97. That represents a minus four and a quarter to the CME weekly average of 119.25. And that 119.25 was a high week at the CME. We traded 33 loads on the exchange that week. Activity at the CME has been robust over the last five weeks. We've traded 200 loads on the CME. So we're getting a fairly good look into the market. And this run up to 119 and a quarter based off of all the enthusiasm we saw at, on European prices and on the GDT, didn't translate to higher prices here on the NDPSR, barely getting above, or not even getting above 115, 114.97. So a little bit of a disappointment. However, we were able to clear good volume, north of 19 million pounds. So a significant improvement than uh, call it a month ago. And that's it. That's week one of February pricing. Week one of four 
Cheese numbers a little bit higher than we thought, so we're seeing some increases in February class three on the exchange in the aftermarket. Currently getting a class three expiration of 15.55 with a class four of 13 and a quarter. We'll see what the CME has in store for us in the weeks to come. Until then, I am Joe. On behalf of Paige, thanks so much. See you soon, bye.